Look at this nerd! He's so cool! Hey Miss Pally, I'm Allie, and you're here because you love the song Yummy. Or you hate the song Yummy. Whichever it is, I am stoked on this idea. Woo! Come on! Huh. That was... that was a Bruno Mars thing. Anyway, you may remember Christopher Bill from Slaying on my channel in the past. Well, he happens to be in LA this week, and we both have musical minds that indulge stupidity, so with our powers combined, Bieber is about to get funked up. Since Chris is gonna be giving me horns on this, I wanna start with Bruno's most horny song. No, I mean, with the song with the most horns. Oh, this is already going great. Actually, all of Bruno's songs seem kind of horny. Moving on. Oh, my goodness, he's so cool. Oh, oh. He's beyond cool. There's like an extra reason I love Bruno Mars and it's cause he wasn't. Like he's a music nerd and you know that he was not cool in high school and he got beat up and made fun of by the popular kids and now look at him. Mm, he's awesome and people like him and suck it Ashley. <clears throat> anyway, onto the music making. Oh, I forgot I have to listen to Bieber. Should have done this first. <laughs> I've memorized the lyrics. I'm sure this is the number one criticism of the song, but also it's the number one reason that it's catchy. Repeating equals catchy. I mean, there are a bunch of other things that go into catchy, but as much as you can say the chorus or just one word over and over again, boom, you've got a hit. Like it's the same reason that you know this. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. For really yummy is just the candy bar jingle of pop songs. Funny that he's eating in all of it. And I am uh, a little embarrassed to report that I just counted he says yum or yummy 55 times in the song. And I also counted in his smash hit Baby, guess how many times he says chlorophyll? Zero. But he says baby 56 times. Now I kind of want to mash up baby, 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 oh, like yummy, yummy, yummy. No, no, I don't. No, I never mind. Okay, let's see what his key and chord progression is. Oh. Yeah, I already started a new track. That's basically the same sound. When you start a new track, this is the standard sound that happens, and I imagine Justin just opened Logic and was like, hmm, okay, I'll make a hit. Anyway, what he's doing for the whole song is two chords back and forth, and I want to say this is a deceptive cadence. This might be a little stretch, but the point I want to make is that you never hear the main key that it's in, which is F. He's always C or D. It's called this because when you're playing around in F, This is like, ooh, I know, it's gonna go back to the key, and you wanna hear it here. Resolve. But instead, he goes, what? Where did, what? And then he does that the whole song. You have been deceived. Okay, let's start laying down some funk. I already wanna point out that my snare is extra funk because that's the snare. But like, half mixed in there is, ooh, a clap. It's like a half clap. That's not... That doesn't sound like anything. I apologize to Mark Ronson that I'm not recording a real hi-hat. Getting the super important stuff out of the way first, I need this. Turntable! Got a few samples. This is the one, though. Mm, mm, mm. I went too long without using bass. Let's do it. In Uptown Funky has live bass. I don't own a bass. But wait! That's what I like is gonna be my example for this because he uses a Nord synth bass and I don't own a real one. And he goes nutso with it. Just going wow 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 the whole time. That's how you make a Bruno Mars song. Actually, everything just goes wow. So now what I'm hearing is you've got that yummy, yummy, yummy. You got that yummy. I really want bass singers like an Uptown Funk going wow wow wow. Chris, do you know any bass singers? Now another wow synth that's all over his stuff is this right here. Just little stabs. I think I got it. This is gonna make the whole thing. I feel like it needs a little more, so I'm going back to Bruno. And again, I have to note that he's just looking so dope. Look at this nerd! He's so cool! Okay, I found what I wanted. It's right here. He's got this high-end thing happening. Okay, I'm leaving a lot of space for Chris because I know he's just gonna go freaking nutso, but I have like some not good trombone fakeness in here. So I got this. Nope, 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 I want real. And like in the chorus, this is mediocre. I'm not doing any more than that because I know he was just gonna come in here and kill it. Mm -hmm. I'm so stoked on this. Let me just give you an idea of what I'm thinking for really masterpiecing up the verse. Ho, ho, 
bonafide stallion. Ain't no stallion on the road, ain't on the side. Actually, I want to do the whole song. Ooh. I have two weeks now. I'm gonna do the whole song. Oh, what? I mean, you all always ask me in the comments, like, can I get the full version? I want to put it on my running playlist or punch myself in the face for three minutes instead of one and a half. We're doing it. That means we get to switch it up for the bridge. I know exactly what I want to do. We're gonna break it down like this. He goes into halftime. I wanna make it twice as slow and double as sexy. Horny, whatever. Shall we take a listen to what I came up with? close to his. The, the thing, the ding. There's a ding thing focusing my auxiliary percussion brain. It's a flexitone. It's a, this is the thing, hit. this thing, which sounds like you hit a triangle and then somehow it got higher. Smack the ball on the plate and then you squeeze it to like lift the note. I don't have that sample. Come on, Logic, what the heck? You don't want cartoony sounds in your sound bank? Okay, I found uh, someone's recording of one. That is... Okay, I'm gonna need to do some searching. <laughs> eh, getting there. Okay, come on, just hit it once. Guy! Boom! Yes, that's it. I wanna give you another example just because he uses it three times in the song. <laughs> How goofy. What? Doesn't sound goofy in mine. Mm-hmm. I know you all take me seriously. Funny, there's a ding in Yummy, too. But not the radio version, just in the music video. Except I kinda don't wanna play it because it irritates me. <laughs> right here. Which, why am I irritated? Because it was put in there by an idiot or a genius. Like, it's either a musical genius or someone very dumb. Look how this space fits in the song. It's 4-4 four, four, and then there's just a three measure. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. Sure, fine. Uh, you either, your video director knows nothing about music and was like, we're just gonna insert this. Or you're smarter than me and I don't. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm just gonna rant about that tiny little spot in the music video because I have a feeling that Chris is gonna take a big old dump on this song whenever he gets here. Or maybe not, maybe he likes it. I mean, it's growing on me because... Catchy. Repeated. I think I got pretty much together. The next step would be vocals. Which I'm still very much wishing that I had a bass singer. You can hear really well at the beginning of Uptown Funk. It's just like, do 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 basses going boom boom boom. Oh no, this is 24 karat magic. Wait. Forgot about this. Ooh, that is a talk box. I really want to put talk box on this. I really don't own a talk box. I have two weeks and I now own a talk box. How is that possible? See, this is what you can do when you have more time to make good art. Ooh, hello there, gorgeous. So this is important. Weirdest part. Activate robo voice. I'm gonna do it like this. Probably should have washed this first. Whatever, if I die of chemical poisoning, you all know who to attack. But basically, the sound comes through this hole, and then I, I make the shape with my mouth. And it is the funnest thing. Sorry. This is gonna fill the sonic void of what I wanted with the bass. Way too excited about this. Okay, I gotta go sing. Let's go to my office. Say the word on my way. I wanted to show you that I'm completely messing with Justin's melody. The notes, the rhythms, I'm just taking it out of this world to Mars. Oh! He's here, he's here. Hello! Hello! How you doing? <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah. Okay, are, great. are you enjoying my step and repeat? I am. Oh my on? gosh, there's so much here. Yeah, it is too much. This yeah. is my Bruno Mars. I hope you have chains. I do, actually. <laughs> what did you think of the mix? Oh my god! It's as funky as it needed to be. Uh, I have some ideas there. See? I told you! Oh wow. I'm claiming this though. I don't know why I didn't have these on the whole time. This will make me better at music. Let's listen to this. Not my masterpiece, but what's on the Hot 100 right now. It's really bad. What? Lyrical genius. You know what it feels like if you like Google translated a pop tune into like a bunch of different languages and then came back to English? Like we don't actually have words for that, so it just like gets down to just this one word. Well, it's a hit. Uh, did he literally sit down and go like, you know what would be funny? Because people are gonna buy it? He's just punking the entire planet. If I, I heard it like through rolled up car windows and I couldn't understand the lyrics, I would be like, oh, cool. But I would also want the song to like go anywhere. Well, you know, I changed the two chords. I made it two other chords. <laughs> Which is fine, that's Which, the thing. They're the exact chords in Umptown Funk. 
So I, I just change it from major to minor, and it's two chords. I have no problem with two chords. Obviously, I love uptown funk. So mm. it's not that it's just these two chords. <laughs> so what are the new two chords? B minor and G major. Way cooler. But if we have this. But there's reverb on like like a delay. Doesn't matter. It's trash. <gasps> I need functional harmony, which means one chord leading to another one, and these two chords. It, they lead to another if it's a deceptive cadence over and over again. He just keeps deceiving you. This is the theme. There's no deception by the end of this <laughs> chord progression. We're still deceived because we think it's a hit. It is a hit. That's not up to us. This thing about art is it doesn't have to be good to be a hit, and it doesn't have to be a hit to be good. I agree. That's my hot take. What is this <laughs> sound? Oh yeah, you wanna you wanna do that into my mouth? What? <laughs> You're going to <laughs> go. Okay. This is what happens. You find out what a talk box is, you buy a talk box. That's all that happens. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how it was. We're distracted. Let's go put some trombone on this. You like my conference room? Eh? I do. Yeah. The acoustics are really happy. Yeah. See, from a real musician, I know what I'm doing. I'm not a crazy person ish. Kind I'm of. not saying that. Hey, all right, let's do this. Okay. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, I I built you up and I was like, it's gonna be so cool, and then it was even cooler! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we do need that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Ain't no stable, you on the front, ain't on the side, you're number one. Every time you get it done. Watch the sunset, kinda. Yeah, yeah. Rolling nice back in my head, make my toes curl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. Say the word on my way. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Rolling eyes back in my head, make my toes curl. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, you got that yummy, yummy, yummy. Say the word on my way. Yeah, baby, yeah, baby. Pop in the Lambo, I'm on my way Drew house slippers on with a smile on my face I'm a lady, got you on my lady You got that yum, yum, yeah you got that yummy, yummy, yummy <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> 
Since we did the full freaking song this time, I wanted to let you know that I always put a link to download the song in the description, so go get it! And bonus, you get to be on my Patreon team. And I wanted to mention this is the first video going out to 300,000 pallies! Ah! We hit a subscriber milestone and I'm so stoked that you're all here and hanging out. And if you want to hang out some more, there are a lot more videos down there.